Hello to everyone in the world, today I'm really glad to finally show you one of my favorite lamps in my collection. Well, I got this since 2017, but for some reason I didn't make a video about it, but well, the time is now. So, um, this is a BLN um, area light that uses, the, 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 the thing that is more, more interesting is that it uses three PLS um, preheat bulbs. So, well, that is so um, nice for an area light. I don't know if in another part of the world this is also really common, but here in Mexico it's really standard to see this type of fixtures with three uh, PLS bulbs, but well, I love this uh, model in particular because well, it it is so well made. This is metal, so you have um, a really nice quality uh, lamp instead of some newer models that are made up, uh, of plastic. And well, this is made by a Mexican company named BNL, and the model is the H5A. Uh, well, um, as you can see, I had to refur refurbish the sticker because the original one was falling into pieces. And uh, if you can see the past quality certificate, uh, well, I have to guess the original year because in the original one was really hard to uh, find out in which year was made but as long as i could see in the in the original one it was uh, may 2001 well um i have the original stickers but i didn't find it for the video so in another video i could show you to you and well this lamp has its um hid counterpart as you can see this is the h 7a which i also have to refurbish the sticker this is the um, hid hid version and well here i have both lamps um as you can see well this one had to well it it was involved in an accident with a truck so and uh, well you can see the, the the truck completely smashed the lamp, but anyway, um, both they both have a standard uh, twist and lock photo cell. They are both made out of metal, and the only difference, the only noticeable uh, big difference between the two is that the ballast section here is bigger in the HID, in the Mercury or HID version than in the fluorescent version as well as an obvious reason, reason that um, fluorescent uh, chokes uh, for PL bulbs are like this size and this one instead had to fit a huge 175 Mercury ballast in it. Uh, but they used the same uh, NEMA uh, standard Reflect refractor or um, yeah refractor and one thing I also find interesting but uh, also a little bit annoying is that the way it, the refractor clamps to the uh, lamp itself if, is by these little screws that has a really pointy end here as you can see but anyway that's the way they designed this and well i like a lot the these fixtures as you can see this one has a different pole clamp in it because they come originally with this um 90 de degrees uh, clamp to attach directly from to well to the wall but this one was in an uh in an, another arm that was uh, wider than the the original pole clamp that these uh, BLN lamps come with, so that's why this um, fixture has a different type of pole clamp. But if you take a closer look inside, you can see that it had the original one. You can tell by 
those um, holes in there. Well, anyway, so um, we're not going to focus in the Mercury version because, well, as you can see, it's empty. It was uh, converted to fluorescent in at one time in in its in its life. So uh, I had well, when I got it, it was just a, a, a standard photo cell and a. a a normal base with no ballast or anything like that anymore. So I I'm I will try to get the the Mercury version and the complete Mercury version, and we'll talk about that when I get it. So for now, let's go into focus on the fluorescent one. So as I just told you, you have to remove these pointy screws that sometimes you can get a little bit hurt with those ones that is the only thing that i think i don't really like it has three of them that sometimes you can only loosen them you can remove one and lose the other two a bit well these are pretty tight let me get something to unloose them and oh there there we go. So now without the refractor, you we can see better inside. These are the three PLS um, sockets. And well, let me put this apart a little bit so you so you can see the ballast inside. Okay, so here is the ballast section opened. As you can see, you have a standard three PLS 13 watt um, little ballast. Now, well, <laughs> something I found really interesting is that they rated the lamp for 45 watt. So uh, if you multiply 13 by three, you get 39, but they told you 45. That was on the original sticker. That is not an error. Actually, if you take for account the ballast losses you will end up getting like three or two to five watts for each one uh, from losses uh, like the ballast heat the actual lamp uh, heating itself so actually actually this is pretty accurate now well uh, the as, as I, oops i think i dropped the screwdriver anyway so um as you can see there you have the uh, twist and lock um photo cell socket it was wired originally to the ballast but now i just removed that because well it's sometimes a little pain to wire or turn the lamp on in your room and then the the photo cell just uh, gets triggered by the uh, light of the lamp itself and turns off so i just remove that and i just bypassed uh, directly from the power and well of course when i got it i uh, put um, a power cord um, for the lamp to turn it up itself and well this is a really old uh, power uh, adapter i think it was i i think it looks cool with the lamp but i don't recommend using these old types of plugs because you can touch really easily the contacts when you are plugging this thing into the wall so i don't really recommend to use this power and uh, uh, these power cords anymore i just have it because i think it's nicer in the fixture and anyway so well um Taking a closer look at the ballast, you can see that they are really, really burned out. When I got the lamp, I actually got it for my neighbors itself. So they had it in a place that is really visible from my house. I'm going to put the uh, actual image where it, it was located right now. And when I got it, it, ca it came with these three uh, Philips um, PL bulbs. They were made in May 2006 and I got it in 2017. So I think these bulbs lasted for at least eight, seven to eight years. So, well, uh, because, well, when I got it, they were really, 
really burnt out they are not not working anymore and this is the old good type of Philips bulbs made in Poland not in China and well they don't work anymore but to turn on these beautiful fixtures we have a, a, a trio of fresh Philips bulbs the obviously the newer version we have only one that is, what is, that is still made in Poland and the other ones are made in China but with no more to say let's see this beautiful fixture turning on because it's a really really cool fixture and I want you to see how it turns on it's so so satisfying and amazing so let's go okay so the first thing we need to do to turn on this beautiful fixture is to place inside the three PL bulbs one for each little socket inside the fixture okay here we go then we place inside the refractor just like that okay and let's see here we plug this thing and let's turn off this light over here okay so here we go in three two one amazing start right there so as you can see it pulls out a really nice preheat show when it starts let's see it one more time amazing isn't it i just love how this lamp starts so let's see it turning on a couple of more times So let's try one more time, but now with the refractor off, so we can see better the three bulbs. Here we go. Amazing, isn't it? 